Welcome to Orange Picks. This month, Prime Video brings us some incredible cinematic gems that you don't want to miss and that I think you may have overlooked. But wait, there's one shining star amongst all of them that you must see, and it really got me excited. You'll agree with me when you see this Amazon original content in the video below. Trust me, it's worth it. We'll be landing under fire, gentlemen. Men will die. Going into battle. If you are looking for a movie about the horrors of war and the glory of heroism, Once We Were Soldiers is for you. This movie tells the story of the first major battle of the Vietnam War, the Battle of I.A. Drang Valley and the soldiers who fought in this battle. With Mel Gibson in the director's chair, this movie is definitely a production you should not miss if you love war movies. You men have done a hell of a job today. They won't get through us, sir. You can count on it. This is our shot, Zach. Hello. Why do you want to wrestle? I'm the toughest bastard in any room. Good morning, wrestling nerds. Well, this is where we see whether or not you get to go on to WWE. Fighting with my family, this movie tells the incredible story of an ordinary family. Imagine, every member of your family is passionate about wrestling and you grow up in this family. This is exactly what the true story of Paige, played by Florence Pugh, is like. Paige is trying to break into the WWE, the world of professional wrestling, but things don't go at all as she expected. In this journey full of challenges, Paige faces a big test as she tries to stay true to her family and her dreams. Be the first you. Four-man team, Axelson, myself, Dietz, Marcus, Davey. That's a lot more than ten guys. That's an army. Inspired by a true story of heroism, Lone Survivor is set in Afghanistan and tells a deeply moving story. For brave soldiers of the U.S. Navy SEALs face the enemy during an operation in the unknown deserts of Afghanistan and fight for their survival. This movie, which will push the limits of even those who watch it, definitely manages to impress the audience because it is a true story. We're good, right? We're solid. We can be heroes. Never out of the fight. Just for to be the meanest, the baddest in God's cruel kingdom. Yes, yes, Lord, yes! Them paintball bullets. They hurt. Oh, not in the head. I will talk about a different war movie from the ones on our list, Jarhead. This movie is about the deep effects of war on human beings and the inner struggle of soldiers. It takes place during the 1991 Gulf War and tells the story of U.S. Marine Corps soldiers. However, this movie is different from other war movies because instead of focusing on the battle scenes, it focuses on the relationships between the soldiers and the psychological effects of war. If you are curious about the deep effects of war on human beings, Jarhead might be the movie for you. I love this. No. Was it a union thing? Cut the feed. Whoever's in there, turn the cameras on. Turn the cameras off, Patty. Turn it off, Patty. Do? Turn them on. Uh, put it up. We continue our list with a movie full of suspense, Money Monster. Money Monster tells the story of Lee Gates, the host of one of the most popular television programs in the financial world. One day, an armed man enters the studio and takes the program hostage. With its action-packed scenes and immersive atmosphere, Money Monster offers a movie experience that will keep you glued to the screen. You're back on anybody. I don't want you to die. Oh my god. No! You came here to get some answers. You deserve to get some answers. Our next movie is Cloverfield, a thriller science fiction movie. Unlike ordinary thrillers, this movie also gives you the experience of horror. In the movie, a group of friends are caught in the middle of a mysterious and terrifying event in Manhattan. A huge creature is ravaging the city and terrorizing people. The movie is shot with a camera and filmed in what appears to be real time, so I felt like I was in the middle of the events. If you haven't seen it before, give it a chance. First place I learned about 
my death was a pet cemetery. The secret place. Pet Cemetery. Bloodline sheds light on the mysterious past of Pet Cemetery, one of Stephen King's most macabre works. In the 1960s, a young man named Judd Crandall discovers the town's mysterious pet cemetery. The cemetery is legendary for its power to bring back deceased loved ones. Judd is attracted to the pet cemetery and decides to bring back his dead lover, but this decision will lead him and the townspeople to an unexpected horror. I realized that I was holding my breath during the suspense scenes and despite its seemingly low score, I highly recommend you to check out this movie. Sometimes, dead is better. I was at a meeting recently and your name came up. I'm flattered London is still talking about me. It wasn't MI6. Spectre from the James Bond series, the masterpiece of action movies. Bond is confronted with a mysterious message from his past and finds himself on the trail of an organization called Spectre that threatens the world. As Bond investigates Spectre, the enemy he encounters knows Bond's past and his weaknesses and seems to be able to neutralize Bond. It was so good to see some clues about Bond's past that I better understood the question marks in the previous movies. And finally, here we are. If you are tired of searching for the best movie, why don't you put me to work for you? Let me do the work for you and pick the best from every genre every week. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It's great to work for you. Clean up here, Volte. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. The best series on our list, and the one I'm really looking forward to, is Fallout. Set in a dystopian world after a nuclear apocalypse, in the year 2077, a nuclear war turns the world into ashes. A few years later, the survivors begin to emerge from their underground bunkers, only to find a completely different world. This world is contaminated with radiation, full of mutants and extremely dangerous. With a strong storyline and compelling characters, this series looks set to be a huge success, just like the game of the same name. There you are, you little killer. You don't tell a boy that's been left behind at Christmas that nobody wants him? What's wrong with you? There's nobody here, okay? So you stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. The holdovers, with the Christmas holidays approaching, many students are excited to return home to their families. But one group of students, for various reasons, cannot go home and stay at school. Spending time together cooking, playing games and sharing stories, the group learns to overcome difficulties together. If you are looking for a heartfelt story about human relationships, this movie will make you laugh and cry with the characters. You're gonna get me fired. This is your Rubicon. Do not cross the Rubicon. The Holdovers. We have come to the end of the top 10 movies and TV series that came to Prime Video in April. I hope you enjoyed this video. Which movies did you watch and which ones did you like? Let me know in the comments and let's chat. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like the video. I know you hear this in almost every video, but subscribing and liking the video is really important for the video and my efforts to reach more people. The more you subscribe and like the video, the more motivated I will be and the more movie fans I can bring this great list to. Also share the video with your friends and invite them to subscribe to the channel. The more people, the more fun we have. Love you. See you in the next video.